and welcome to Satellites 56. My name's Charles and this is chapter 7 of Mark's Gospel in two minutes. Mark 7 opens with Jesus getting into trouble with the Pharisees. Again. This time, the Pharisees are complaining that the disciples haven't washed their hands properly. Oh. Not in that way, but in the overly religious way that the Pharisees had told people to. But, as ever, Jesus has a comeback and tells them that they are hypocrites as they obey human laws and not the laws of God. He then goes on to tell the crowd that there is nothing that a person can put into their body that will make them ritually unclean, only what comes out of them. The disciples don't understand, so Jesus explains it to them. Nothing that anyone eats makes them ritually unclean, as it goes to their stomach, not their heart. And they poop it out afterwards, so there's that. Instead, it's what comes out of a person's metaphorical heart which is ritually unclean. Jealousy, hatred, pride, selfishness, etc, etc, etc. Jesus then goes to a house, hoping to stay hidden, but a woman whose daughter has an evil spirit living in her hears about Jesus and comes to him. She's a Gentile and begs Jesus to get rid of the evil spirit living in her daughter. But Jesus says that you shouldn't feed dogs the food meant for the children. But she replies, arguing that dogs eat the leftover food that the children drop onto the floor. Jesus says her faith has made her daughter well again. And when the woman returns home, she finds her daughter has been healed. After leaving where he was staying, Jesus travels through the territory of the ten towns. Some people brought to him a man who was deaf and mute. Jesus puts his fingers in the man's ears, spat, and touches his tongue, and then says, Open up! At once the man is able to hear and speak. Jesus tells the people not to say anything, but they couldn't help but talk about how amazing this Jesus guy was. Hello, I'm Professor Noah it's Al, and this week Charles has allowed me to give you the summary of Mark chapter 7. And I would like to focus on two bits. The first bit is this. Jesus says it doesn't matter what you put into your body, it's what comes out of your body that is important. Now, I don't think Jesus is talking about fluctuants or feces. In fact, I think Jesus is talking about is what is coming out of your body kindness? gentleness, goodness, all those good qualities, and not selfishness, pride, greed. And what Jesus says about what comes in isn't important, is very important. Because Jewish people, of which Jesus was, had very strict laws as to what they could and what they couldn't eat. For example, they couldn't eat bacon. Can you imagine that? Not having bacon sandwiches. Ugh, gosh. But Jesus is saying in that, that it doesn't matter, there is no food that is ritually unclean. There is no food that is sinful to eat. Instead, it is about what comes out of your body. It's about uh, the, the qualities, the characteristics that uh, you exude. Wow, that's a big word. Second story that I'd really like to focus on is this woman who comes to Jesus to ask for her daughter to be healed. Now, she was a Gentile, and a Gentile was essentially someone who wasn't Jewish. Someone who didn't obey the Jewish laws, wasn't part of the Jewish ancestry, who hadn't grown up Jewish, wasn't of Jewish blood. And what's exciting about this story is that Jesus helps her, even though she's a Gentile. This shows that Jesus didn't just come to the earth for Jews. He came to the earth for everyone. He came to the earth for people like me and you, who aren't of Jewish ancestry, who aren't of Jewish heritage. And that is very, very exciting. It means that God's kingdom is available to us. It means that God's power and healing and forgiveness is available to us, not just the Jews. And that is very important. And those are the two takeaway messages that you can take away from this week's video. Thank you, Professor Noah Tal, for that knowledge and for your wisdom and for your message. I think that was really exciting and really clear, if I say so myself. Join us next week when we'll be looking at more of Mark's Gospel. Until then, bye.